This is another 5G video, and I want to start with what Brzezinski said or wrote in his book, Between Two Ages, America's Role in the Technotronic Era. He wrote this in 1970. The Technotronic Era involves the gradual appearance of a more controlled society. Such a society would be dominated by an elite unrestrained by traditional values, soon it will be possible to assert a most continuous surveillance over every citizen and maintain up-to-date complete files containing even the most personal information about the citizen. These files will be subject to instantaneous retrieval by the authorities. Sit back and ponder what Brzezinski said and then think about the 5G rollout. Now, I have found more information on the health effects of 5G, hence the reason I'm doing this video. Um, and I will link below to everything. I hope that you circulate the information and please circulate it to somebody who can put out a better video that will attract an awful lot of attention. Uh, this 5G, as far as I'm concerned, is the nail in the coffin. I have posted videos on 5G. It is military technology. The military uses 5G, the millimeter wave, as a weapon. They use it for crowd control because they can shoot these millimeter waves at a person or a crowd and create a very painful burning sensation. I have posted videos on 5G, these millimeter waves, that can collect data in real time. The speed with which they can collect this data well, let's say you are walking past one of these um, antennas that will be all over the place. See this antenna, uh, this antenna, the circular, movable, steerable antenna, millimeter waves close to your body. The millimeter wave allows for high definition resolution of small objects. Those small objects, they can look into your home and they can um, see if you're carrying a gun, metal or plastic, if you're concealing a gun. So you're walking down the street and the milli uh, millimeter wave can pick up that gun that you're carrying. This little antenna can actually transmit that data up to a drone in the sky that can collect it and they can in real time shoot a millimeter wave at you causing an awful lot of pain or bringing you to your knees and maybe some law enforcement will pick you up for carrying a gun. Now do I think that we are headed into that kind of dark dystopia? Absolutely. Um, the health effects that I have not reported on are the 5G frequency effects on the eyes, on plant life. Um, but think about the, the uh, microwave frequencies that we are already saturated in. Thousands of studies have shown that these frequencies cause DNA single and double strand breaks, oxidative damage, disruption of cell metabolism, increased blood-brain barrier permeability, melatonin reduction, disruption to brain glucose metabolism, the World Health Organization listed these microwave frequencies that we are saturated in as a possible carcinogen and a recent study by our government, $25 million, a national uh, study conducted by the National Toxicology Program found that cell phones can cause cancer. The 5G rollout of these small antennas all over, all over these antennas close to your body uh, right outside your home, saturated in the antennas will cause all of us to have a denser saturation of dangerous frequencies. But the health effects, okay, so just in case you haven't seen the other videos that I posted on our skin, our sweat ducts, our sweat ducts act like antennas antennas to these millimeter wave frequencies, our skin, these frequencies will penetrate 
the epidermis and the dermis layer of our skin. There will be no escape. So we will see more people coming down with skin cancer and skin diseases. The effects on the eyes, they have a detrimental effect on the eyes, the effects on the heart, studies have shown that they cause arrhythmias, the immune system effects, general immune system effects, and they're not positive, they don't enhance your immune system, they break down your immune system, but the effects on cell growth, as well as bacteria resistance. So these millimeter waves actually change the, the cell structure in your body, and they have an effect on the bacteria, which may very well render antibiotics obsolete, because antibiotics will not be able to fight the changed um, biology of the bacteria. The effect on plant life. It will have a greater detrimental effect on plant life. The millimeter wave will irradiate water, but it will call, uh, cause the cell structure of plants to change. So, think about organic farming. There's no escape from this. Already, uh, they've taken over the food supply and we're eating foods that don't sustain our health. But once these millimeter waves are saturating the planet, the, the cell structure of plants changing, forget about eating organic food. All right. Um, I will link below to this video an EPA retiree in the burgundy sweater talking about 5G. The small cells can cause cancer. Military documents up the wazoo. Military developed this, this technology, the millimeter wave, and I just want to bring your attention to this little photograph. Okay, a millimeter wave hitting a particular person. So, when you have these millimeter waves that can actually detect small objects, they can hit you with a millimeter wave that causes an awful lot of damage, and this is why it's used as a, milita uh, a military weapon. But what does this document say? It says, although the body's water molecules and nervous system would be heated and disrupted by the millimeter wave radiation. Wow. So these millimeter wave radiations will be low to the ground, we'll be walking through them, and our military knows that they heat up the body's water molecules and nervous system. That sure doesn't sound good. But they go on to say no permanent injury would supposedly occur as long as people were only exposed to minor doses. You won't be exposed to minor doses. There will be no escape from these millimeter wave radiation uh, frequencies. They will be in your homes because they're putting these small antennas right outside your home. They're putting them all over the street antennas installed on the external walls of buildings, on lampposts, on street signs. So the exposure will be high. I will link below to this NATO document. Wow. North Atlantic Treaty Organization. What do they have to do with 5G? Oh, 5G wireless communication systems will be fully operational and start deployment by 2020. All NATO nations will have 5G technology. They are deploying it in all NATO nations. This revolutionary approach will be achieved through a flexible combination of evolved existing technologies, 3G, 4G, Wi-Fi, and many new radio concepts. NATO experience demonstrated that a capable civilian telecommunications infrastructure has a high probability of being leveraged by adversaries for command, control, communications, and computer intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance operations. Yes, 5G will allow uh, the surveillance to be greater, reconnaissance of the drones just flying above us. They will be able to spot small objects that people are carrying or hiding. Um, but therefore, extensive investigation is essential to assess the impact of 5G to current and future military operations and analyze the challenges and opportunities of 5G technology to both the military communications and electronic warfare.
electronic warfare. That's what 5G is. Now, this is also a white paper. The explosion of wireless data demand includes analysts predicting anything between 20 and 50 billion devices by the year 2020. 5G, they need 5G for the Internet of Things. It is the connectivity of all things all devices, but you as well. Um, I'll link below to this document. Why? Why is the military so interested in 5G? The military developed 5G. They handed it to the telecommunications industry to deploy. They actually use that language. We are deploying small antennas for the 5G rollout. And I apologize for that noise. I'm not doing this again. Um, 5G, yes, they use it for crowd control because it can produce a very painful um, burning sensation. But uh, this just happened. I was on the article on Wired, uh, and then suddenly I got this, the ad blocker. So um, CIA chief will spy on you through your dishwasher. Petraeus, remember, he's saying... David Petraeus said, your dish dishwasher will be spying on you. Uh, this is a very good article. The whole point of the Internet of Things is so Big Brother can spy on you. Now, whenever these people come out and make these public statements, David Petraeus saying, your dishwasher, because of the sensors in smart appliances, they will be able to spy on you because all of these sensors will be connected and the millimeter wave will retrieve that data from your dishwasher in real time and either transmit it to a, a drone up in the sky or a fusion center. That's why we have fusion centers all over the country. I think that these people come out and say these things because they want to see how the public will respond. And unfortunately, the public responds very quietly, silently. But it wasn't only David Petraeus, it was James Clapper our U.S. intelligence boss, boss James Clapper, said that the government will spy on Americans through the Internet of Things. In the future, intelligence services might use the Internet of Things for identification, surveillance, monitoring, location tracking, and targeting for recruitment or to gain access to networks or user credentials. Yes, all smart appliances will have sensors. With 5G connectivity, they will know when you open up your refrigerator. They will know what products you buy. They will know when you throw those products out. Because everything will have sensors. Everything you buy will have a sensor. Every appliance that you purchase will have sensors. And unfortunately, we all have sensors because I do believe that they have been already spraying neural dust, smart dust, with nano-sized sensors that we have been breathing in. Neural dust. Tiny, tiny sensors that, yeah, we may very well be breathe, have already breathed in. So, DARPA, implantable neural dust, enables precise wireless recording of nerve activity. So if we do have these sensors inside of us because we have breathed them in and nanoparticulates, this nanotechnology, it crosses the blood-brain barrier. So if it crosses the blood-brain barrier, well, then they could spy on your brain, MIT. But it's not only DARPA and MIT publishing this information, CNN. Smart Dust aims to monitor everything. That is why Hewlett Packard and other companies are dumping the world with nano sized sensors. Very dangerous. This is not a world that anybody would want to live in. But a lot of us who are older, a lot of us who are aging rapidly, we won't have to suffer this world. Parents, your children will. And do you really want them to live in a world in which the elite control everything? 